Ugh. So, I'm just thinking about this. Um, <clears throat> did I get my keys? Because I did a, I did a walk through Tiberius before, and I just got my keys. And when I got back to my car, my keys were still in my car. And I just forgot my keys in my car again. So I decided, you know, I don't know. I, I didn't make any decisions yet. I'm pretty fluid with things. So that I just found a parking spot, see, right there in the middle of a dirt patch. I'm going down to the bank. I need to uh, put in some money for my rent. So that's where I'm doing. And then I think I'm going to go to the, um, to the Shuk. The Shuk is like the marketplace, the Tiberius marketplace. So I was talking this morning about maybe doing like a different channel for like life in Galilee. But I realized that everything that I do is life in, in my life in Galilee. Like, uh, the places I go, I show. The things that I do, I tell about. Um, you know, all of everything that I'm going through is like I have a funky story, you know, going on with the whole Twin Flame, Cripple Lens stuff. I think that's what I'm going to call it, Twin Flame Cripple <laughs> So, I mean, I show where I'm going anyway, but this is a really cool place too, so I'll show you. So I... Maybe I'll just start putting into my own my own vlog that I'm doing here, just kind of show my life in Galilee, things that I do more, because it's interesting, you know, a lot of times I go places and I do things and they're not, they don't have anything to do with like my storyline, so I don't show, but I have a really interesting life. And I think if I, um, and that's also part of the twin flame journey, you know, take the focus off of the twin flame journey and put it onto my life. And that also will help me in appreciation more of what I do have and, and the things that I do do. And when I do them, you know, I'm looking for the things that are interesting in my life so that I can share them and show them. And it, it helps me put a focus more on the things that I have going for me in my life. And so, and, and take the focus off of the places that I feel um, that that I have a, uh, that, I do, that I don't have. So here, let me show you. So this is the Dana Grazia Hotel. Ooh, ooh, maybe I'll go inside and show you because it's just so pretty in there. It's all vintage and antique -y. I think I will. I'm just gonna walk in. And if somebody says something to me, then they do. But this is the Dana Grazia, Dana Gra Dana Grazia. Dana Grazia Hotel and Museum. So we're gonna go ahead and do a walk through. Look at this door. This door. I love things like this. Look at up. See it's a reception. It's kind of eerie in here too. Look at up. So look. You can just walk in here. This is the lobby. It's like Victorian, I don't know, kind of really funky. It's like a kitchen in there. I love this style. Look at that. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Let's see if I from the other side and get less of a glare on it. Look at that. Look at those lights. So you can have conferences in here and all sorts of things. Look, there I am. I'm over there. I'll, I'll show you me. To take my hat off. Look at that. I would love something like that to to showcase. There I am. Me. This is a dress I found in the secondhand store this week. Beautiful. Beautiful. What is that? View only, so no touching it. Oh, it's some kind of game, or some kind of table that opens up or something. View only. Look at that. People are always interested. Oh, wow, look at that. Has all those antique jars. What is it? Oh, it's a shoe polishing thing. Look at that. That is really cool. Oh, one of those things I found in the States once. Those are really cool, too. I guess you would burn incense in them. I guess that's what it would be for. Oh, 
this is interesting. Ooh. I, I would love to do some kind of conference here. I could organize something. But it would have to it would have to suit the atmosphere. Look at that. It's just beautiful here. Baby grand piano. Okay, so there's my quick walkthrough of the Nana Grass. So if anybody's coming to Tiberius and they want to stay at a really cool place, so that's a cool place to stay. It's kind of unique. It's it's not like the modern hotels. It's a little bit different. So I'm walking down here. I'm going to my bank. My bank is like right down the corner here. So. I'm gonna, well, I'll show you because I'm just coming out from my bank now, so I guess I'll take you for a trip with me to the bank and then when I get to the bank, I'll pause it. And then I'm gonna be going over to the, uh, to the market and I'll take you for a trip in the market too. Because the market is, um, it's really interesting to see as well the fruits and vegetables. And up at the top, they have like these junk guys. And a few weeks ago when I went to one of the junk guys, there was something there that I really liked and I didn't have enough money for, and he told me to take it. I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but I took it, but it was only like 20 shekels, and so I have 20 shekels to go and give him if he's there. I already went back once to see if he was there. This is my bank, I'll show you. It's like at that hotel. My bank, Avis, over there, that's the bus station, and all the rental cars are here. And I love this mountain, so I came from that way. And the very next building over there is the Donna Grazia Hotel. So I am going into my bank, and I will pause this here.